Hi, and welcome to Prayer Time. My name is Fergus Scarf, and I'm the UK and Ireland Regional Director for God TV. Please give me a couple of minutes. I want to spend time in prayer with you today and share a word, a testimony from the Lord, believing that this time will impact and see your life transformed in some way. Already, we have seen hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of prayer requests come in from our viewers around the world. If you see the little strap at the bottom of your screen, please drop us an email, allow us the privilege, and it is a privilege to stand with you in prayer in Jesus' name. We don't take it lightly. We as a ministry pray for our viewers each and every day. We have whole teams that pray for you, but mostly, as we stand before the Father in the name of Jesus, your prayers will be met in Jesus' name. So don't quit, don't give up, and allow us the privilege to stand with you in faith believing. Now then, as a believer, I've been saved, I think, 25, 26 years. One of the scriptures that we were taught very early in our church growing up was Mark 11. It's the one about have faith in God. See your mountains move, be leaving. But there's a key to that verse that sometimes we don't abide by. And obviously Jesus gave us the keys to the kingdom and those keys unlock the answers we're looking for. So join me as we read Mark 11, 22. I'm reading from the New King James. Have faith in God, for assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says shall be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you're asking when you pray, believe that you receive them and you'll have them. That's where most of us stop, but that's not where the verses stop. In fact, it still goes on in red in my version of the Bible. So we believe, we speak to the mountain, and when we pray, we believe, but it's more than that. Verse 25 and verse 26. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive them, that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. Is there a mountain you need moving in your life? Is there something that uh, just won't go? Have you stood believing? Have you been talking to it? Have you received it by faith? Well, maybe there's another element, another mountain, a mountain not just in front of you, but a mountain perhaps on the inside. I'll be honest with you, forgiveness is hard. Forgiveness is difficult because you were wronged. But the Bible says it's a key to walking in freedom. It's a key to walking in power. Your mountain is on the other side of a forgiveness offered. Jesus went to the cross and he said, Father, forgive them for they don't know what they're doing. Perhaps we also, in those difficult moments of our lives, should say, Father, okay, I'm asking not only that you would forgive this person, but Father, that I would forgive them. And I acknowledge that perhaps they don't know what they're doing. And even if they do, surely they would see your love and forgive as well. So if you wanna see that mountain moved in your life, if you wanna see that difference made where it's cast into the sea, maybe, just maybe, Mark 11, 22, 23, 24, actually also depends on Mark 11, 25 and 26. That when we stand praying, not just endure in praying, but when we stand in prayer, that we would forgive. Just as our Father in heaven would forgive us, so we also would forgive in turn. Shall we pray? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to see the mountains moved in our life. We want to see sickness recovered from. We want to see broken marriages made whole, Father. We want to see the dead raised to life. But Father, we also acknowledge that in this time of prayer, as we stand praying, that Father, we must forgive. We must say, Father, please, I don't hold it on their account, and I'm asking that you don't hold it on their account. Father, my mountains will be moved. My prayers will be answered. And those that have wronged me, Father, please, we do not hold it to their account. 
In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. I've had testimonies about that, and I know you will too. If you haven't had that testimony, share it on the prayer line, and we'll stand praying with you. And if you've seen that mountain moved, if you've seen that prayer answered, then share it too as a testimony, so that we in turn can share it with all our viewers and that together we'll be encouraged. So from me, Fergus Scarf, and on behalf of all our regional teams around the world, we bless you, we are in love with our viewers. And until next time on Prayer Time, God bless you and thank you.